prayer oh god we stand before you to seek your blessings guide our thoughts words and actions with your light of wisdom we offer before you this day ourselves our families our teachers our friends and our learning shower your divine grace upon us and protect us from all dangers thanks giving prayer thank you god for having enlightened us with your wisdom every word and deed of ours has been guided by you thank you lord almighty for having showered your blessings on us this day be with us and now for and for our prayer before classes oh god enlighten our minds strengthen our memory and bless us to do well in the classes keep us healthy in mind and body all through our classes meditate on god either in an obscure corner or in the solitude of forest or within the silent sanctuary of your own heart give up everything for him reserve yourself to him and there will be no more trouble for you then you will come to know that everything is done by his will smart tips to sign out from google drive do the following click on the google account icon on the top right corner of the window click on the sign out button the google drive will be clo- closed today let's learn google drive a dialog box appears as shown in in the desktop click on the get shareable link option at the top right corner of the dialog box a link to the file will be copied to your web clipboard you can then then paste the link in email message or on the web to share the file when you you have finished click on done <laughs> e-commerce e-commerce or electronic commerce is a way of doing business over the internet it refers to buying and selling of goods and services or transmitting funds or data through electronic medium companies create the websites to advertise their products and services customers can buy different products as per their choice by using credit cards debit cards net banking cash and delivery etc different types of e-commerce there are various modes of e-commerce some of them are as follows business to business b to b this type of e-commerce involves two companies buying or selling products and services with each other through the internet For example, a food manufacturer purchasing floor a retail retailer by the buying the end product from the food manufacturer. Business to customer, B2C. This is the most common type of e-commerce activity. In this mode, a company establishes establishes a website on the internet and sells products or services directly to the consumers. over the internet by providing the information about them this enables the customers to buy any product or get information about the product that side consumer to business c2b the c2b electronic commerce involves consumers selling products or services to companies a consumer posts his project with a set budget online the companies review these products and place bids thus the consumer reviews the bids and selects the company that meets his expectations to complete the project consumer to consumer c2c c2c involves e-commerce between 
consumers or individuals. The individual consumer costs its products and services for sale and other consumers bid for them. For example, the sites such as oilx.com, ebay.com, ubit.com, etc. English We welcome you to school. We welcome you to school today. U school today. U school today. We welcome you to school today. Please come in and play. We are glad to have you here today. Here today. Here today. We are glad to have you here today. Yes, it is a special day. Sundays are fun days. Sundays are fun days when we play in the sun. We run up the beach and we run down the beach and we have lotus of fun. U. Words. Umpire. Underwater. Earn. Umbrella. Uniform. Say and trace the letter U. U. Words. Umbrella. V. V. Words. Y in ways when water violet V V when U Y in earn violet umbrella water Uniform Umpire Van V Willy Wingy V Willy Wingy runs through the town upstairs and downstairs in his night gown. Taping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children in their bed for its past ten o'clock? W words. Watch well. Whoop wheels wall. Say and trace the letter W words. Watch. The X-ray man. Do you know the X-ray man? The X-ray man. The X-ray man. Do you know the X-ray man? He takes pictures of my bones. Oh. He loves the letter X. The letter X. The letter X. O. He loves the letter X. And he likes to X-ray me. X words. Silopon. X-ray. Ox. Box. Fox X words X ray Words W Cell upon Well 
എക്സറേ വാട്ടർ ഓക്സ് വാച്ച് വാട്ടർ മെലൻ വെയിൽ ആം ദ ലെറ്റർ വൈ യെസ് ഐ ആം ദ ലെറ്റർ വൈ ദ ലെറ്റർ വൈ ദ ഐ ആം ദ ലെറ്റർ വൈ ഐ ലൈക്ക് ടു പ്ലേ വിത്ത് മൈ യോയോ മൈ യോയോ മൈ യോയോ ഐ ലൈക്ക് ടു പ്ലേ വിത്ത് മൈ യോയോ മൈ യോയോ ഓൾ ഡേ ലോങ് വൈ യോയോ യോഗേട്ട് യോഗ യെല്ലോ യാം വൈ യോയോ ടച്ച് ആൻഡ് സോ സെഡ് സീബ്ര സിപ്പ് സൂ സീനിയ സീറോ ലേസി മേരി ലേസി മേരി വിൽ യു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് വിൽ യു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് വിൽ യു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ലേസി മേരി വിൽ യു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് വിൽ യു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ടുഡേ നോ നോ മദർ ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റപ്പ് നോ നോ മദർ ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ടുഡേ സെഡ് സൂ ബബിൾ ഹാൻസ് ബോയ് റാറ്റ് ബോൾസ് ബുക്സ് ബാഗ് അംബർലാസ് മങ്കീസ് കാർ യു എസ് ഇൻ അംബർല വി എസ് ഇൻ വാൻ ഡബ്ല്യു എസ് ഇൻ വാച്ച് എക്സ് എസ് ഇൻ എക്സറേ വൈ എസ് ഇൻ യെല്ലോ സെഡ് എസ് ഇൻ സീബ്ര ദ വീൽസ് ഓൺ ദ ബസ് ദ വീൽസ് ഓൺ ദ ബസ് go round and round round and round round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all the way to town the horn on the bus goes poem pom 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 the horn of the bus goes pom 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 all the way to town a as in apple b as in b c as in car d as in duck e as in eagle f as in fish g as in guitar h as in horse as in insect j as in jug k as in kite l as in lion m as in mango yen as in nest as in orange as 
in parrot as in tune as in rose yes as in star t as in tiger u as in umbrella v as in van w as in watch x as in xylophone y as in yacht as in zebra zebra senia zero yo yo sip yoga yellow yam one and many one cat many cats one tree many trees one bear many bears one balloon many balloons healthy habits wake up early brush your teeth do physical exercise take a bath drink water wash your hands before having food eat healthy food comb your hair cut your finger nails wear clean clothes play in the open air go early to bed people who help us nails traffic policeman carpenter tailor fire fighter shop keeper sweeper cook people who help us teacher farmer doctor policeman engineer driver mansan painter <coughs> night time my activities doing homework having dinner making the bed sleeping and no environmental studies purple color grapes i am purple <coughs> bag lavender balloon that <coughs> are you my activities having breakfast going to school playing with the friends gardening insects butterfly ladybug and fly cockroach bee grasshopper grasshopper mosquito dragon fly <coughs> repeat less tortoise snake lizard crocodile see turtle chameleon white color i am white feather rabbit jasmine horse black color car i am black car hat shoes buffalo crow
advantages of e-commerce. With e-commerce, it is easy to locate, choose, buy, and pay for product smartly. While sitting at home, some of the advantages of e-commerce are as follows. E-commerce is available 24 into 7. Customers can visit the store, browse the products, and place their orders anytime. E-commerce helps in making the process of finding and accessing the products relatively easier by providing all variants of products at one place. It provides more choices and ability to compare products from different brands on the basis of their pricing, quality, etc. Buying and selling through e-commerce is a time-saving activity. Customers can also read the viewers and reviews comments about a product before buying it. Online service pro providers also use uh, their customers by providing them with attractive deals and coupons. It is easier to start a business at the setup investments cost than investments and costs are relatively low. Disadvantages of e-commerce. Following are the some disadvantages of e-commerce. It is not always secure to purchase things online. A customer should check the integrity of the service provider before buying and making online payments. Since customers are to make payments through debit card or credit card, so one should remain extra vigilant regarding the misuse of information and possibility of fraud. While e-commerce makes everything easily accessible, but still a consumer hesitates to buy online because he cannot examine the product physically and be sure about the quality of the products until they are delivered to his door. Non-stop access the internet is required to shop online. E-shopping The internet offers convenient ways to shop from your homes or offices for stationery, apparel, health care products, home appliances, electronic items, toys, etc. You can buy or sell new as well as a second hand goods. The process of selling and buying products even the internet is called online shopping or e-shopping. Some of the popular portals for selling and buying goods are Amazon.com, eBay.com and Flipkart.com. Amazon Amazon is one of the largest online shopping websites in the world. It is an American electronic commerce and cloud computing company founded on 5th July 1994 with headquarters in Seattle, Washington. This site is popularly known for its wide collection of books although it has expanded its domain to the other categories also like electronic appliances, clothing, furniture and many more. To make use of this amazing e-shopping tool. Log on to the official website of Amazon www.amazon.in Type of the name type the name of the item that you want to search for. Select the desired product and check the details. The key features and specifications that item. Once you are satisfied with the product specification, add it into your cart. After adding the items in cart, go to your cart and click on proceed to buy option to buy the items. You need to create an Amazon account by entering your valid name, mobile number, or email ID and password. Click on create your Amazon account. Fill in your address details under the delivery address section 
and click on continue. Select the payment method and enter the required details. Click on continue. Review your order details and click on place your order and play. pay. Enter the 3D secure code received from bank in order to authorize your payment. You will get a thank you page once the order has been successfully placed. Smart tip. Amazon has created different retail websites for different countries to facilitate faster and easy delivery of the products. For India it is www.amazon.in Modes of online payment. The payments that are exchanged electronically are called online payments. These payments are made for e-shopping, e-ticketing or e-banking, etc. Everything except the physical delivery of the products can be done through the electronic means on the internet. Customers can choose from several ways to pay for their e-commerce transactions. The various ways of taking payment online are as follows. Net banking. Net banking, also known as online banking or e-banking, is a means or electronic payment that enables the customers to conduct financial transactions through the internet using the bank's website. To make use of the online banking facility, you first need to register with the bank's website by entering the sessional credentials and set up a username-password combination. This way you can verify yourself when carrying out an online transaction. Debit card. A debit card is a plastic payment card that can be used in place of cash while making purchases. When performing a transaction with the debit card, you are required to provide the card details to the online shopping service and the amount gets deducted from the card holder's bank account immediately. Usually debit card allows for instant withdrawal of cash acting as the ATM cards. Credit card A credit card allows you to borrow money from your bank to make purchases. When a customer makes a payment by credit card, the concerned bank pays on behalf on the customer and allows a grace. Period of some days to the customer to pay the credit card bill. If you do not pay it back in that period, then you will have to pay the interest. Electronic wallet. An electronic wallet or an e-wallet allows the user to make online transactions through a computer or smartphone. An e-wallet is usually linked with the user's bank account to make payments such as utility bills, mobile phone and DTH connection. It can be used as a prepared account in which a user can store money for future transactions. It can also be used to store users personal information such as card number, PIN and shipping addresses. Example, Paytm, Mobi, Quick and free charge. Blog. A blog is an easy to create website that allows the users to share their thoughts with the world. The word blog comes, comes from web, web blog because a blog consists of a signed and dated log of individual positions. The topic of a blog can be anything from personal to professional. Readers can add comments to bloggers, postings, other persons can respond and thus a conversation can start. Creating a WordPress account. WordPress is a free content management system, CMS, 
that is used to create website or blogs. It provides dozens of customizable designs and themes that help you to beauty, beautify your blog and make it look attractive. Follow these steps to make a WordPress account. Open the browser, Chrome or Firefox window. In the address bar, type the URL www.wordpress.com and press enter. The home page of the website appears. Select the products types and then choose the option blocks. Click on the start your block option that appears. To create your WordPress account, click on the get started button displayed on the top right corner of the screen. The let's get started screen appears in desktop. Enter your email address, username, password and to create new account. Or you can also continue with your existing Google or Apple account. The next screen appears where you can enter a domain name of your choice if you want to create an account for free. WordPress gives you an account name related to your entire choice. Click on select as shown in system to create a, an account for free. The next is screen offers you to choose a plan to create a site for free. Choose start with a free site. The next screen opens the home page of your blog. Here you can give a name to your site by clicking on the name your site Give a title for your site in the site title section. Then click on all done. Continue button that appears on the floaty message. Click on the save settings bottom to the to save the changes. Click on return to my home to go back to the home page. Difference between website and blog. Website. A website is a collection of linked web pages on the www that contains specific information and also shares a unique domain name. Blog. A blog is a web resource on the www that contains distinct and informal information in the form of posts. Website. It is a single component that is usually owned by one person or organization and gives formal and professional information about their services or products. Blog. It is an easy to create website that allows the users to share their thoughts with the world. Purpose. Website purpose. It is a virtual space which allows the visitors to see the services or products of the brand. Purpose of blog. It contains informative and educational posts can often be part of website. Content of website. Website content is a statist and does not change, change regularly. The content is organized in pages. Content of blog. A blog is a dynamic where the content is updated regularly. The posts are di displaced in reversal chronological order. Examples of website. Your school website. HTTPS slash www.yourschool.in Examples of blog. HTTPS slash www.teachertube.com Podcasting The word podcasting is a combination of two words iPod and broadcast 
A podcast is an audio or video broadcast that is distributed on the internet. It has a similar format as that of a radio or television show. As the distribution medium is the internet, so anyone can distribute his thoughts and opinions to the world by creating a podcast. Although the time is derived from the word iPod, but you do not need an iPod to the listen to a podcast. A podcast can be accessed and downloaded easily on a user's computer or digital media player through the internet. You can easily subscribe to a podcast over the web and use any portable media player or your computer to listen to it. Podcasting facility is free of cost. Some of the popular websites that host the podcast are www.bussprout.com www.podomatic.com www.soundcloud.com www.podpin.com Recap The internet is a network of millions of computers connected to each other worldwide through the telephone lines or cables. Netiquette is a special set of rules that govern the behavior of a user while communicating online. Recap Email is a facility on the internet to send and receive messages anywhere around the world in real time. An email address consists of a username and domain name. Google Drive is a free service from Google that enables you to store, access and share files on online and access them anytime, anywhere using the cloud. E-commerce or electronic commerce refers to buying and selling goods at and services online. A blog is an easy to create website that allows the users to share their thoughts with the world. A podcast is an audio or video broadcast that is distributed on the internet. PowerPoint Create a PowerPoint presentation on the topic Climate change reasons, effects and prevention Also apply animations and transitions in your slides You can download pictures from the internet with the help of your elders relevant to climate change Add appropriate text on each side Scratch. Make a scratch project on trees. Our friends, draw the background as shown here by using paint editor. Add the text, save trees, save environment. Let the sprite say the important points about trees and create five objects which we get from trees by using the sprite paint editor tool as shown in in the data. Display the objects one by one on the stage using the block. Tree gives us paper which is used to make books and notebooks. Trees make our surroundings beautiful. They give us fruits and flowers. They give us wood which is used to make chair, table, bed, etc. Trees give out oxygen that makes air fresh and clean. HTML 
create an informational web page on the topic Rajasthan tourism. Add information on history, geography, food and culture on the web page. Also make your web page appealing and attractive by including elements and attributes that you have learned in your HTML classes. <coughs> history The state of Rajasthan in India was the site of the Indus Valley of Civilization. The early medieval period saw the rise of many Rajput kingdoms like Chauhans of Ajmer, Guhilat and Sisodias of Mewar and Rashores of Marwar in Rajasthan. Later on, the region came under the suzerainty of the Mughal Empire. Geography Rajasthan is located on the northwestern side of India. It comprises most of the wide and inhospitable Dar Desert, also known as the Great Indian Desert, and shares a border with the Pakistani province of Punjab and Sindh. Food The Rajivadi land of Rajputas is a paradise of foodies. Rajasthani cousin is the one of the most popular cousins, boasting of a never-ending platter full of delicious dishes. It ranges from tangy drinks to spicy starters, mouth-watering curries and crunchy breads along with the added delights of chutneys, pickles, poppad and buttermilk. Culture Rajasthan The cult the cultural capital of India is one of the most alluring tourist destinations in the world. The land of Maharajas is one such place that showcases the most exuberant colors and cultures, from the costumes to people's food habits, religious celebrations to social gatherings. Rajasthan has adhered to its diverse traditions and cultures. Use the HTML table or frames to arrange the images. A brief description of Rajasthan tourism is given in the picture. Elaborate the description by gathering information from the internet. Fun with AI Natural Language Processing Natural Language Processing NLP is an emerging technology that is going to change the way you to interact with the computers. For the last few decades, humans have been interacting with the computer using test commands. These commands are fed into the computer system using some common input devices like keyboard and mouse. The latest trend is to create machines that can think and act like human beings. This had led to the creation of an interface that is more based on speech. Although for the last few decades, technologies like text to speech and speech to text are in use. Still, no technology can be used to give commands to the computers using human languages. The answer to this is natural language processing. It is the process of making computers understand human languages. You might have come across different NLP technologies in day-to-day -day life. Let us look at some of the these trending technologies that make use of NLP. Alexa. Alexa is a device that is gaining immense popularity among the users and becoming a household gadget. It makes the use of NLP to interrupt the voice commands and convert them into text commands. Then it routes the interrupted command to the cloud service for taking actions. Apple Siri 
Siri is the one of the most popular virtual assistants developed by Apple and used in various devices like smartphones, smartwatch, iPad and computing devices with Mac OS. Google Assistant Google Assistant can connect to all smart devices that make use of the Android operating system. It helps it uses in make managing tasks, planning and searching images and answering queries. Cortana Cortana is a personal digital assistant developed by Microsoft. It includes the various types of features such as calendar, reminders, alarms, photo reminders, recognize natural voices without the requirement for keyboard input and answer the queries. Google Maps Google Maps is an application that is widely used for navigation. It helps the users in finding out the directions to reach a certain location. Other than that, it also shows information related to traffic in real time such as alternative routes if you are traveling by foot, car, train, bicycle and air. You can take directions by Google Maps by just pressing the mic button and speaking. Linguistics to natural language processing. All the components discussed here make use of the natural language processing. Research on human languages has been going on for quite a long time. For better understanding, let us now look at the pathway of natural language processing. Linguistics. Linguistics is the scientific study of language. It includes the study of rules that govern a language like grammar, phonetics and semantics. The study of these rules help in the better understanding of the languages. The linguistics study can help you in formulating new rules for a language and also assist in the translation of one language to another. Computational lingu linguistics. Computational linguistics. Computational linguistics is a 21st century stream that make, makes use of the computers to study the grammar, phonetics and semantics rules of languages. The computational power of the computer system helps in processing huge amount of the linguistic data in a short span of time. This means the complexities of a language can be understood quickly and new discoveries can be made. Statistical natural language processing. With the time, the computational power of the computers increased many folds. Now the computers are capable of processing a huge amount of data. Various statistical methods are used to understand and process the linguistics rules. In 1990, the statistical machine learning was introduced with replaced the classical method of top-down rule of evaluating a language. Natural language processing. With the advent of machine learning, the focus is on building computers that can make use of the earlier studies in computational linguistics and statistical natural language processing research and convert it into an automated system. This system can help machines learn human languages thereby making the communication much effective and easier. Theme Evolution of Mankind The Iron Age Lesson Objectives 
students will be able to understand how people progressed from the stone age to the iron age understand how people led their lives and improved as they went along taking off discuss the following name of name some metals that you are familiar with what are some of the tools in your home made of you have learned in the earlier classes that with the discovery of metals the stone age gradually came to an end the iron age the next major change in history was the discovery of iron the period after the bronze age is known as the iron age it was characterized by the large scale use of iron for making tools weapons ornaments it is an interesting to note that not all groups of early human beings were using the same tools all over the world different groups of early human beings were in different stages of development in terms of the stone age bronze age or iron age however better tools and weapons must have made it easier to fight other groups and lead better lives advantages of iron the early human beings found various advantages of using iron some of these are discussed and teaching you iron was much stronger than bronze and it could be shaped to form sharpener objects unlike stone which had to be chipped away to make different shapes iron could be heated and hammered into required shapes iron was cheaper and more easily available than bronze iron tools were stronger and could be used for tilling the ground for farming rotary kiln was introduced which could powder grains to floor the availability of iron tools and implements helped in the advancement advancement of agriculture and spread of civilizations since people were primarily engaged in agriculture the discovery of iron had a great impact upon farming farmers could plow soil with iron tipped tools and implements more easily better farming techniques increased the production which made it possible to sell and exchange surplus crops the discovery of iron had another major advantage it became possible for people to spend more time on other activities such as weaving spinning making ornaments and pottery thing and answer do and learn be an archaeologist refer to the internet and find out more about ancient burial sites prepare a powerpoint presentation and share with the class in india the iron age so the emergence of a large number of kingdoms both in the north and the south of india vocabulary characterized to be a typical quality or feature of someone or something kiln a single and simple hand mill for grinding grains with two circular stones rotary turning around a fixed point tilling to prepare land for putting seeds in the ground so that they will go grow there life skills working in groups work in groups make a chart to de- depict the sources of evidence to trace the
the evolution of human mind kind from the stone age to the bronze age and finally the iron age integration with language we appoint eight four more lines bringing in the words bronze and iron in the following poem i am a man of the stone age i can kill an animal from close range pressure groups and movements pressure groups are organizations that attempt to influence government policies but unlike political parties pressure groups do not aim to directly control or share political power these organizations are formed when people with common occupation interest aspirations or opinions come together in order to achieve a common objective in the course of the discussion above we came across entities that are not quite an organization the struggle in nepal was called a movement for democracy we often hear the word people's movement to describe many forms of collective action narmada bachao andolan movement for right to information and the liquor movement women's movement and we on mandal movement like an interest group a movement also attempts to influence politics rather than directly take part in electoral competition but unlike the interest groups movements have a loose organization the decision making is more informal and flexible that depend much more on spontaneous mass participation than an interest group can you identify the pressure groups functioning in the news clippings given what demand are they making sectional interest groups and public interest groups usually interest groups seek to promote the interest of a particular section or group of society trade unions business associations and professional lawyers doyex doctors teachers etc bodies are some examples of this type they are sectional because they represent a section of society workers employees business persons industrialists followers of a religion caste group etc their principal concern is the betterment and well-being of their members not society in general sometimes these organizations are not about representing the interests of one section of the society they represent some common or general interest that needs to be defended the members of the organization may not benefit from the cause that the organization represents the bolivian organization fedacor is an example of that kind of an organization in the context of nepal we noted that participation of human rights organic organizations we read about and learn these organizations in previous videos this second type of groups are called promotional groups or public interest groups that promote collective rather than the selective good they aim to help groups other than their own members for example a group of fighting against bond labor fights not for itself but for those who are suffering under such bondage in some instances the members of a public interest group may undertake activity that benefits them as well as others too for example ban cap backward and minority communities employees federation is an organization largely made up of government employees that campaigns against caste discrimination it addresses the problems of its members who suffer discrimination but its 
principal concern is with social justice and social equality for the entire society movement groups as in the case of interest groups the groups involved with movements also include a very wide variety the various examples mentioned above already indicate a simple distinction most of the movements are issue specific movements that seek to achieve a single objective within a time limited frame others are more general or generic generic movements that seek to achieve a broad goal in the very long term the nepalese movement for democracy arose with the specific objective of reversing the king's orders that led to suspension of democracy in india narmada bachcho andolan is a good example of this kind of movement the movement started with the specific issue of the people displaced by the creation of sardar sarovar dam on the narmada river its objective was to stop the dam from being constructed gradually it became a wider movement that questioned all such big dams and the model of development that required such dams movements of this kind tend to have a clear leadership and some organization but their active life is usually short these single issue movements can be contrasted with movements that are long term and involve more than one issue the environmental movement and the women's movement are examples of such movements there is no single organization that controls or guides such movements and environmental movement is a label for a large number of organizations and issue specific movements all of these have separate organizations independent leadership and often different views on policy social movements and pressure groups try to mobilize citizens in many ways the college here shows some of them many democratic governments provide the right to information rti to the citizens the rti act 2005 is a landmark legislation passed by our parliament under this act citizens can seek information from government officers pertaining to different activities do you think the cartoon exaggerates the obstacles obstacles stonish role of bureaucracy in the implementation of the act national alliance for people's movements and apm is an organization of organizations various movement groups struggling on specific issues are constituents of this loose organization which coordinates the activities of a large number of people's movements in our country how do the people influence politics pressure groups and movements exert influence on politics in a variety of ways they try to gain public support and sympathy for their goals and their activities by carrying out information campaigns organization meetings filing petitions etc most of these groups try to influence the media into giving more attention to these issues they often organize protest activity like strikes or disrupting government related matters yet all of these shares a broad objective and have a similar approach that is why they are called a movement sometimes these broad movements have a loose umbrella organization as well program is orkes organizations employees associations and most of the movement groups often resort to this 
tactics in order to force the government to take note of their demands. Business groups often employ professional lobbyists or sponsor expensive advertisements. Some persons from pressure groups or movement groups may participate in official bodies and committees that offer advice to the government. While interest groups and movements do not directly engage in party politics, they seek to accept influence or political parties. Most of the movement groups take a political stance without being a party. They have a political ideology and political position on major issues. The relationship between political parties and pressure groups can be take different forms, some direct and others very indirect. In some instances, the pressure groups are either formed or led by the leaders of political parties or act as extended arms of political parties. For example, most trade unions and students organizations in India are either established by or affiliated to one or the other major political party. Most of the leaders of such pressure groups are usually activities and leaders of party. Sometimes politica political parties grow out of movements. For example, when the Assam movement led by students against the foreigners came to an end, it led to the formation of the Assam Ghana Parishad. The roots of parties like the DMK and the I DMK in Tamil Nadu can be traced a long drawn social reform movement during the 1930s and 1940s. In most cases, the relationship between parties and interest or movement groups is not so direct. The often take positions that are opposed to each other, yet they are in dialogue and negotiation. Movement groups have raised new issues that have been taken up by political parties. Most of the new leadership of political parties comes from interest or movement groups. Is their influence healthy? <coughs> it may initially appear that it is not healthy for groups that promote interest of one section to have influence in democracy. A democracy must look after the interests of all, not just one section. Also, it may seem that these groups wield power without responsibility. Political parties have to face the people in elections, but these groups are not accountable to the people. Pressure groups and movements may not get their funds and support. Follow the news on any news TV channel for one week. Make a note of news related to pressure group groups or movements representing the following sectors or sec sections. Farmers, traders, labor industry, environment and women. Which of these are mentioned most of television news? Which sections or industries get mentioned the least? You may follow a newspaper if you don't, don't have a at TV at home. The Green Belt Movement has planted 30 million trees across Kenya. It is leader Wangari Matai is very disappointed with the response of government officials and politicians. In the 1970s and 1980s, as I was encouraging the farmers to plant trees on their land, I also discovered that corrupt government agents were responsible for much of the deforestation by illegally selling of land and trees to well-connected developers. In the early 1990s, the livelihoods, the rights and even the lives of many Kenyans in the Rift Valley were lost in the, when the elements of President Daniel Arab Moy's government encouraged ethnic communities to attack one another over land. 
supporters of the ruling party go to the land while those in the pro democracy movement were displaced this was one of the government's ways of retaining power it communities were kept busy fighting over land they would have less opportunity to demand democracy in the above passage what relationship do you see between democracy and social movements how should this movement respond to the government from the people sometimes pressure group with small public support but lots of money can hijack public discussions in favor of their narrow agenda on balance however pressure groups and movements have deepened democracy putting pressure on the rulers is not an unhealthy activity in a democracy as long as everyone get this opportunity governments can often come under pressure undue pressure from a small group of rich and powerful people public interest groups and movements perform a useful role of countering this undue influence and remaining the government of needs and concerns of ordinary citizens even the sectional interest groups play a valuable role where different groups function activity activity no one single group can achieve dominance over society if one group brings pressure on the government to make politi- policies in its favor another will bring counter pressure not to make policies in the way the first group decides the government gets to hear about what different sections of the population want this leads to a rough balance of power and accommodation of conflicting interests this is called news and no news who is most often visible in media who are we most likely to hear about in newspapers